Uh, most 16-year-old kids are uh, busy playing Guitar Hero or something else. Not Daniel Poneman of Evanston. Video games, not his thing. No, uh, he gave up just about every boy's dream of playing professional sports back in the sixth grade. So what makes this kid with a gift to gab so special? Our Luke Stuckmeyer tells us. I love his game, and no one's looking at him. I don't, I don't get it. When Daniel Poneman talks... Hey, it's great to meet you. I'm Dan Poneman. People listen. After all, they have no choice. I think he's going to end up at Northwestern. It's my personal prediction. Poneman is a 16-year-old high school basketball junkie. Well, the class of 08, you can, name, you can name any player in the state that has college, colleges looking at him, and I'm going to tell you what their strengths and weaknesses are, what school they go to, what AAU team they play for, height and weight, uh, and what colleges are looking at them. I mean, from the class of 08, class of 08. Uh, most 16-year-old kids are uh, busy playing Guitar Hero or something else. Not Daniel Poneman of Evanston. Video games, not his thing. No, uh, he gave up just about every boy's dream of playing professional sports. Tommy Woolridge, you come from the bench. He's a sophomore. Oh, number 15. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know him. And on September 20th, 2006, Daniel put his information to use, launching his website, IllinoisHSBasketball.com. My website is how, where all my information goes into. It's my, it's my, like, my baby. The adventure started slow, and college coaches were reluctant to listen to a kid from Evanston High School. Uh, have you seen my website before? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll go to AAU tournaments or the Proviso West Holiday Tournament last year with a stack of business cards and, and a notebook and just walk around and say, Hey, I'm Dan Poneman. I run IllinoisHSBasketball.com. Would you like to recruit players in Illinois? And just work from there. And I would just try and talk, have a conversation. And if a coach is interested, give them a business card and tell them they can call me when they want to learn more about players. And, and, you know, I probably approached a couple hundred coaches in my time. And then some of them are interested, some aren't. And, you know, the ones that are, we keep talking and we stay in touch. And hopefully I can help them get recruits. Daniel gets full support at home. From rides to the games to using the living room as his office. We're firm believers that your passion is going to take you to your destiny. And uh, we always encourage them, as we do our daughter, to follow what really is important to them. And certainly that was the case with Daniel. I mean, he always loved basketball and he's always played and he's never been quite good enough. But and he used to say, I'm going to be a professional when I get older. And, and now he is becoming a professional, but not a professional uh, athlete, but actually a professional scout. Yeah, he is a pro, but what, at what level? NBA. I don't know about that. And sure enough, what started as a passion and a hobby has turned into a business. Players know him, parents know him, and if coaches don't, they should. Poneman feeds info to coaches all over the country, from Tim Floyd at USC to the staffs at Northwestern and Illinois. I was in uh, Augusta, Georgia. Yeah, he's pretty energetic. Um, actually, he was going up to everybody. <laughs> I kind of saw him grabbing all the coaches. Uh, the thing that stood out most, most is last summer when I was doing this on the circuit, he was giving everybody his card and he says a free website. You know, so anytime you can get a guy with that kind of energy that's willing to work that hard and he was offering it free, you know the guy's really good at what he does. You know, he is young, so the AAU kids in the summers and the high school kids kind of see him as a peer, and, and he's able to kind of get in close with some of the kids and get some quotes and comments, and uh, that... Uh, you know, that makes, you know, gives him a little bit advantage against some of the, the other guys. Uh, but, you know, just a lot of, I guess, a, a disciplined kid for that age to get out on the road and uh, in the summer and give up his summertime at the pool and chasing girls uh, to be in watching basketball games in, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten hours a day. So, uh, you, know, you, you know, I guess uh, I admire the kid and, and uh, hope it works out for him down the road. There have been plenty of coaches that I talk to and I walk up to them and I talk to them, try and be really nice, give them a business card. They go, oh, yeah, like, I'll check out your site. Take the business card, put it in their pocket, never, it's an afterthought. They never think of me, never talk to me. They, they forget I ever exist. And a lot of those coaches who just like, forget I ever exist, later on, maybe a couple months later, they'll see me talking to uh, a, big, a bigger name coach than them, you know, talking to them, and they're getting advice from me, and they'll walk back up like, oh, yeah, on second thought, like, what was your name again? You know, so, so a lot of coaches, I mean, I don't blame them. I'm a 16-year-old guy for, up until a couple months, months ago, I had braces. So, I mean, what, why, do they want, why do they want advice from me, you know? He spent his early childhood in Iowa, and then his family moved to Illinois. Daniel claims he won't play favorites. All the good scoop 
doesn't just go to his favorite teams. Who is that really helping? Because like I said, I really love doing this because I love knowing that I'm helping people. A kid that wouldn't otherwise be getting this opportunity is going to be getting an opportunity to play at a high level of college basketball because of me. And who would I be helping if I only told one school about him? But I, I was reading your blog and I, I saw it and I was like, he just said that. He is a real life mouth of the Midwest. This kid hasn't stopped talking since the moment he walked in the gym. That's fine at a basketball game, but just imagine how much trouble he gets into at school. You have no idea. All of my teachers actually have like special rules for me and then the rest of the class. Bruce Weber called me in the middle of school. I was on my phone and I was like, sorry, I gotta take this. I answered my phone in school, you know. My, my teachers though, they understand what they, they see what I do and they understand and they, they, they're really supportive of it. And I talk a little too much, but who doesn't? I'm gonna think of somebody in the NBA that he's gonna have to guard that he'll be outmatched. Daniel hopes eventually his grades will get him into Northwestern. In addition to his homework, he spends nearly 35 hours a week working on his website. And there are times where he's up to the early morning hours. I don't know if I should be saying this, but the teacher had taken aside and said, you know, your son sleeps a lot in class. Because <laughs> he's up so late at night, he, by the time he gets to school, he's really groggy. The fact that he does so well in school is really amazing. When you watch this child focus on his website for hours and hours and hours on end, he just focuses on it. And then we go to the parent-teacher conferences and they say, you know, we're really concerned that your child has ADD. Actually, he's so focused that in less than two years, his website has exploded. It started with just 300 visitors a day. But since Daniel was featured in Sports Illustrated, that number is up to roughly 2,000 hits a day. And when Waukegan's Jeremy Richmond announced on the website that he was committing to Illinois, IllinoisHSBasketball.com drew a look from roughly 10,000 fans. And it's only going to get bigger. Oh, once I get my driver's license, it's, it's going to open all new doors. The website is not his ultimate goal, because you can bet this motivated high school junior has bigger plans, starting with organizing a 72-team AAU tournament in February. And down the road, well, how about running the Bulls? My ultimate goal is I want to be an NBA general manager. I want to get out of college, get a job, maybe scouting in the NBA, work my way up, and then one day, I'm going to be the NBA general manager, and I'm going to be signing the kids the contracts that I got into college. So the next time you're at a basketball game, keep your eye out for the boy scout. He's ready to talk if you're ready to listen. I was so unimpressed. 34. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty nice game. That was put together a pretty nice game. Luke Stuckmeyer, Comcast Sportsnet. All right, Luke, thank you very much. Daniel certainly has a bright future. His parents are, are on board. They're right behind him. Uh, I'm sure he's got a ton of cell phone minutes that he's able to uh, use each month. And uh, I can just see him right now at his prom, you know, out there on the dance floor. Wait, hold on. Hold on a Bruce minute, Weber line two. And can we to... stop the music right now? I got a phone call to answer. He sounds exactly like Mel Kuyper to me. And I wonder how many times, you know, he had coaches, who? You know, yeah. Hang up on him, kid. Anyway, uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. and. Pretty, pretty, pretty bright, too. Still to come after uh, all the college hoop upsets on Saturday, would 13th ranked Marquette be able to avoid?